What's up guys? First and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is brought to you by none other than The Ridge, makers of the world famous and now YouTube famous, at least on my channel, Ridge Wallet. In less than two seconds, I'm going to show you exactly what the hype's all about. Nick Minute. That's what it's all about. This wallet holds just as much as this, yet this one is bulky, ugly and outdated. Now this one, being that it is a Ridge wallet, holds 12 cards, it's sleek, it's stylish, it holds cash. There's over 30 different styles including this one, which is matte black, and this one, currently unopened, which is 18 karat gold. Not only does the look and design speak for itself, but the packaging is next level also. And when it comes to giving a gift, when it comes to even gifting yourself, when you deserve it of course, that's a win. The whole entire wallet is the exact size of a credit card, and the way that you access the cards is to push up from the bottom. Let's be honest, 40,000 five star reviews, they don't lie. There is a lifetime warranty on each of these wallets. If, for whatever reason, you're not happy, you have a 45 day window to receive a full refund. I've got to be honest, at first I was skeptical. I have seen it advertised on other YouTube channels, YouTube channels I respect actually, and enjoy watching. So it was only a matter of time until I tried it out for myself. It's not only wallets, the website does have an entire range of products designed to carry less and live more. And that is a quote that I've actually lived by for years. Head over to www.ridge.com slash Jacob, use code Jacob for 10% off, and I guarantee you, this will be, whether it's in black or 18 karat gold, the last wallet you'll ever use, guaranteed. Because there's no way in the world I'm gonna be carrying something like this round anymore. Cheers guys, and enjoy the video. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I am your host, Jacob McDonald, and today we're looking at a running back, which is a nice surprise. Uh, his name's Aaron Jones. He's a Packers player. And he's number 30 on the list of the top 100 NFL players for the year of 2021. As you guys may well know by now, I am a massive fan of all running backs. It's the position that I've always thought would not only be the position that I'd like to play if I was to play the game of football, but also the position that, you know, as far as the way you line up on the field, as far as what you have to do with the ball on the field, is the closest to, you know, a position in the game of rugby. Especially the position that I used to play, which is fullback, right? Coming in from the back, trying to cut through holes, but then on the defensive side of the ball, you're sort of playing the role of a safety. Um, you know, at the back of the field, cleaning up you know, as a sweeper kind of thing. Anyway, that's rugby. In the game of rugby, you have to do everything. In the game of football, you have a choice, offense or defense. And personally... I'd always go for offense, and it'd always be a running back. And as far as teams are concerned, I mean, we simply cannot go past the Packers. It's always going to be a crowd favorite, unless your team is indeed playing against them. But with all of that being said, it's time to get into the video. Let's roll the intro and crack into it. So, here we are, Aaron Jones, running back for the Packers. Number 30 on the list. Not bad, not bad at all. In fact, let me give you a percentage. He is indeed in the top 1.875% of the league. Let's call it the top 1%. We're talking about the one percenters here, guys. The top 1% of the league. Let's go. His speed is just tremendous, man. And when, and when he gets to his breakout speed, he's unstoppable. He runs hard too, doesn't he? One here. Give this Aaron Jones up the middle. Breaks through. 30, cutting left. 35. He's to the 40. 45 to the 50 down the left sideline. Still on his feet. Is he going to get it done? Cuts it back. 25, 20. Well, if that ain't Tell me he one, scores. Everybody's top 10 highlights. Oh. Something's wrong. That was seven broken tackles. No, don't cheat on that was seven. That was seven. And that wasn't even Aaron Jones saying that. Showtime! Showtime! <laughs> See, man, he runs with purpose. But before we continue, I do need to confirm whether it was indeed seven tackles. Broken. I mean, what a run it was. Used as blockers to full effect. Packers need to break one here. Give this Aaron Jones up the middle. Break, break through, one, 30, two. Cutting left, 35. He's to the 40. Three. Five to the 50 down the left sideline. Still on his feet. He's got a chance. Cuts it back. Four. 25, 20. Well, if that ain't number one. I'll call it five. Everybody's top ten highlights Six. this week. Something's wrong. <laughs> that was seven broken tackles. 
No, don't cheat on me. That was seven. That was seven. Or was it? I'm going to say 6.5. Showtime! Showtime! Over 200, Rush? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Who is that? Is that Mr. T? Or is that is that Mr. T or is that Aaron Jones? No. <laughs> no, it's not Mr. T. It's uh, Booker T. <laughs> is that... Booker... <laughs> Booker T, sunglasses. I don't know, man. Booker T or Mr. T. He's out here. Look at his triceps. If he was a bodybuilder, I'd say there's synthol in there. They are some pretty fucking nice triceps, I'm not going to lie. No homo. And he can run routes like a receiver as well. Like they use him in the passing game as well. Typically in the NFL, you get all go special where... Three guys on one side of the, the field running verticals. One guy's coming back across the field. And the Packers, they'll do it with two guys and run Aaron Jones out of the backfield as a third guy, which you never see. Same game. Jeez, he balled out against the Lions, didn't he? And with that in mind, let's look up his stats. Week two against the Lions, he rushed 18, high, 18 times for a career-high 168 yards and two rushing touchdowns, uh, one of which was a 75-yard 70 yard touchdown, and caught four passes for 68 yards and a receiving touchdown. So we got three touchdowns and 236 total yards. That is an incredible game. No wonder we're seeing the highlights from it. The DB didn't even see it until I was like up in the air grabbing it. That's fun right there. Yeah, that's hella fun. Here that's fun right there. Up in the air grabbing it. That's fun right there. Yeah, that's hella fun. <laughs> that's fun right there. Jones knows how to have fun. That must be a saying. I've never heard that one before. I used to be addicted to the hokey pokey. But luckily I turned myself around. <laughs> Rock your safety, kids. Mask up. He plays with joy, but not a lot of acclaim. I personally don't think he get enough credit of how shifty he is. You know, he, he had one great spin move. You know, he comes through the holes and you hit him. His, his contact balance is so great where he's spinning off. He's absorbed. Speaking of which, six foot, five nine. Fuck, that's surprising. 208 pounds, five nine. I would not have thought that. All right, we'll give him half an inch. Five nine and a half. 456 for the 40 yard dash, 420 for the 20 yard shuttle, 682 for the 3 cone drill, 37 and a half inches vertical, 10 foot 7 on the broad jump, 16 reps on the bench, and a score of 19 on the Wonderlick test. And you know what, seeing as he is a running back, I'm going to look up the reference used by Wikipedia talking about his Wonderlick. Why would they include that? When did he get picked up? What? Round 5, number, number 182. You're joking. Pick number 182 in round number five. This this was his... <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So how long has he been in the league? All right, all right. So this is the 2017 draft. They've picked him up in the fifth round. And prior to being picked up, he said, uh, I think I have great balance. Mix of power and speed. I catch the ball well out of the backfield. This is still Jones talking. Jamal Williams is more of a big back, said Jones. I'm a little bit faster than he is, and I can catch the ball out of the backfield. I did it all. Check down screens, corners. And here's a few notes. Arms were 32 and a half. Hands were 9 and a half. Played freshman season on the Miners basketball team after gaining all El Paso City honors in high school. Wunderlich of 19. Comes from a military family. Lived in Germany from age 2 to 5. Agent is Lee Steinberg. Okay, so that is where they quoted his Wunderlich of being 19. And in 2020, the season we are indeed looking at, he played 14 games in the regular season, ran for a career-high 1,104 yards and an average of 5.5, nine rushing touchdowns, bringing his career total to 37. He caught the ball 47 times for 355 yards and two receiving touchdowns, bringing his career total receiving touchdown figure to six. He fumbled the ball twice, but in you know almost 250 total uh, plays, that's not bad, less than 1%. Played in the postseason, two games, 126 rushing yards and one touchdown, 21 receiving yards and no touchdowns. And as we know, they were beaten by the Bucks last year in the playoffs. The Bucks went on to win the Super Bowl. And on March 26th this year, Jones signed a four-year, $48 million contract with the Packers. So he's only been in the league four years. He has been paid, secured a second bag. And I'm going to say, having played 54 games 
and already accumulating 3,364 rushing yards and 1,057 receiving yards, I'm going to say he's on his way to 10,000 rushing yards, which will put him in an elite group of running backs. Absorbing and spinning opposite way in. You know, he got a great, great vision. Boy, you talk about exploding through all. He's another dynamic runner. Well, we know that voice. That's Jonathan Taylor's voice. What are, what are those called? Contortionists? I don't know. He's a contortionist. I asked him, how are you, how are you able to move like that? Like, it's, you barely move, yet the person completely misses. The legs are all over the place, aren't they? Slanting left side, right through. Into the five, to the end. Would not be easy to tackle. Nah, he's got that explosive factor. He can, he can, he can take any, anything to the house at any point. Give is to Jones up the middle, right hash mark, breaking free. He's off to the races. No one will catch him. Touchdown, 75 yards. Hey, I, I, I started looking up. That's the first time I've ever done that. And that was back in that Lions game. Yes, it's Secretary at the Belmont. So take that 75-yard touchdown away, and he would have got just under 100 rushing yards for the game. But include it, and it's a legendary performance. Funny, isn't it? He was off to the races three times that day, and he's also up three spots from last year. Aaron Jones delivers. Tell you what, it breaks my heart to see a Lambo leap wasted like that. But uh, but I suppose it doesn't matter how many people are in the stadium after you run 75 yards for a touchdown, you're going to get yourself up there. And hey, I guess there is one person in the crowd. But that my friends, brings us to the end of another video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support along the way. We are indeed into the 20s. And that begins with Julio Jones. Down about 20 spots from last year, I think. And actually, he's just being traded too. So that should be an interesting video. We'll look at his stats. We will, you know, confirm how much of an absolute legend he is. But that's in the next video. So guys, if you have enjoyed this one, please hit that like button. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great night.